look at that. So we're gonna start by cutting some pieces of bread in half and then we're gonna fold the sides inward to create a heart shape. Then use a toothpick to hold the heart shape in place. Okay guys, now that we have all of our little hearts made, we're gonna go ahead and start putting on some marinara sauce, okay? So go ahead, get some on there guys. Now keep in mind, these little guys are little. So you really don't need that much or else the so the bread could get nice and soggy. And honestly, it's not very nice. So go ahead, there we have it. Now we're gonna use your spoon to move that marinara sauce around and fully cover it just like we're doing. Go ahead, fully cover this thing. Now every good pizza needs some marinara sauce, right? So that is exactly why we're putting it on here as well, just to get the base of this yummy mini pizza. So something I love about these little guys are, you know, of course the heart shape is so darn cute, but they also taste so, so good. I mean, if you don't believe me, give it a try yourself and I think you are going to thank me. There we go, we got that all set. Now we need one of our most important ingredients, our veggies. Yes, we have mixed veggies right here, guys. Go ahead and start putting them on. We wanna fully cover these guys, okay? Fully cover them, just like that, you know, with as much veggies as you want. So there we go, I'm kinda of just getting a pinch of veggies and we're just throwing them right onto here. And these are just veggies I get from the freezer, guys. You know, they're really, really tasty and they actually really make this taste so good. Now, of course, cheese. So any good pizza is gonna have cheese too, right? So of course, we're gonna go ahead and get cheese on all of these guys. So go ahead, if it falls down, that's A-OK. -okay. Get a nice heaping amount of cheese and if you need to, press down on it, just like that. There we go, perfect. We're gonna keep on pressing just like that. Perfect. These are looking fantastic, okay? Now that we have that cheese on, we're gonna get some pepperoni. Now I actually went ahead and I already cut my little pepperoni up because they are very big for this pizza. You know, one little slice is massive so i went ahead and cut them up made them into these little little pieces just because they work so much better there we go amazing amazing there we go now this is looking so darn good guys okay perfect Look at that. Now we have these all covered in pepperoni. Now we're gonna go ahead and season. We're gonna start with our oregano. So lots of Italian dishes have oregano, so that is exactly why I like to put oregano on my mini pizzas. Up next, we're gonna do basil. Same deal, basil is much, much needed. So I always put some of that on. And last but not least, one of my favorite, favorite ingredients, red pepper. So these add a very delicious spice that I love so, so much. And I highly recommend that you guys add this. You know, if you're not a huge fan of the spice, that is okay. You can skip it. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and toss this on a parchment paper on a baking sheet, and we're going to bake them. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and toss this into the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. As you can see, I'm making more because they're so, so good. These are ready to go. Oh my goodness, look at these. We're gonna go ahead and plate them. Now that this has been plated, guys, we're gonna top it with Parmigiano Reggiano. Just a little pinch of it. There we go, perfect. Look at how cute these look, guys. These are so, so good. All right, let me show you one of these. Look at that. Look at these little hearts. These are so, so darn cute. 
And as you can see, it's nice and toasted on the back and it's just so ready to eat. Let me break it in half so you guys get an idea. Look at that.